The records are now open. Everybody, come on in. Come in loud and excited. Come in quietly. Whatever makes sense to you, whatever your personality is. I know I have a big old personality here. But if you're a quiet, shy one, come on, tiptoeing in too, because everybody's going to get healing today. You guys have questions about your life, about your money, about your health, about your career, about your relationships. This is the place to get answers. Welcome to Akashic Answers with Emily. I'm Emily Harrison. I am a certified Akashic Record practitioner, as well as a mentor to other lightworkers in the realm of the Akashic Records. Of course, many of you guys know the Akashic Academy is providing certification opportunities, online courses, if you are excited to learn to read your own records. That's right, what I'm doing here for you guys today is a skill that every single person can learn how to do, whether you think you are intuitive or psychic or not, I'm here to tell you that you are. You do have that ability just like you are breathing and showing up right here in this space. You can show up in your life as well. And part of my mission is to really inspire others to recognize how powerful, how healing, and how much advancement we can really download from the space of the Akashic Records. It has been the catalyst to me creating the Akashic uh, Academy with my partner, Coach Nick. And I don't know how many of you guys are members. If you guys are a member of the Academy out there and you just took part in that members only workshop we did where we were downloading codes and apps from the Akashic Records today, we downloaded the app for ease, for an easy, smooth life. Yes, this is energy that you can download and integrate into your system to help bypass all of those areas where we've been stuck before. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the exclusive workshops and trainings that our members are receiving. So if you're interested in joining the Akashic Academy membership, reach out to me privately, send me a private message, let me know that you're interested and I will share with you exactly how you can join us inside of those amazing workshops. But I want to get down to business. I want to dive into readings here with you guys. Uh, and I'd like to jump into it as quickly as possible because as many of you know who've been hanging out, it's really, really fun. It's very expansive. I want you guys to ask your questions. I want you to know that while not everybody is going to get a private and personal reading, everybody can receive the transmissions or the shifting or the upgrades that I'm going to bring in from the space of the Akashic Records as well. If you are tuning in and learning about this word Akash, Akashic, uh, Akashic Records for the first time, then let me just give you a quick breakdown while you're sharing out and hearting it up, please. We want to share this mission, this message is light out with as many people as possible. We want to share the opportunity to shift your life just by tuning in. It can be the seed that completely shifts somebody's timeline. So be that catalyst for somebody else. Please share this out. The Akash or the Akashic records, the etheric field, the Akashic field, you might have heard of all of this different terminology, the hall of records, the mind of God, the book of life, these are all different uh, ways that we express, we use vocabulary to describe the information that exists within the Akashic records. Every detail of your past, your present, all possible futures, because future exists in infinite possibility, has been recorded in a space of zero judgment and unconditional love. This is the space of true neutrality. This is the way that God sees you. And by the way, not only do people have Akashic Records, but your animals do too. So if you guys have animal questions, you can bring those. So does your home. So does your business. Every single thing has an Akashic Record. And great minds like Albert Einstein, Nikolai Tesla, uh, Steve Jobs all went into spaces of meditation to communicate with the etheric field to help understand more dynamically how our universe works. So because they were who they were, and what do I mean by that? I mean because they had the training, the intelligence, the experiences that they had. Because see, each of our interaction with the Akashic field is going to be filtered through our own persona, our individual expression in this lifetime of that God source energy. But because they were the scientific minds, they were able to grasp really scientific concepts. All right, if you're a scientific mind, you're going to be able to grasp scientific concepts. 
if you are somebody who is very emotionally aware and if people come to you to talk about their uh, emotional issues in their life, you're going to receive really dynamic understanding of how emotional patterns are at play. Okay, regardless of what your expertise, what your experience is, the Akashic Records is going to use that, use your passion, your experience, your interests, your abilities, to help you bring forward the most dynamic healing for yourself and then integrating that for other people as possible. So you can't really go wrong in this space, which is why it is my go-to zone for healing, for insights, for expansion, for opening to new opportunity, for manifesting, for enhancing and downloading new skills and abilities. So let's rock and roll, you guys. I want you guys to start typing your questions now. Of course, I'm going to join us on my phone so I don't have to peer into my computer screen like that so I can see the questions coming in. Again, just to remind you, everybody gets healing. And also, even if I'm not talking directly to you, if the message resonates with you, please know that that information is for you and that the way the message comes across to you, regardless of how eloquently I get it into English vocabulary for us, there is an energy frequency of transmission that shifts, adjusts, and, and begins the healing process. Now, you have to learn what you need to learn from these issues that are coming up. You can't just erase them. Otherwise, they're going to show up in another aspect of your life in a more intense way to get your attention. It's like they knock louder. So I don't want to fool you into thinking that you don't have to do any of the work. You definitely have to do the work. All right? But I can usher in a, a higher level of awareness. It's just going to make the whole damn thing easier. Okay. Diving in right now. I'm going to share myself out, too. Share myself out to my own page. Okay. All right. As soon as I pop in here, I see Lisa Engel Franklin saying, anything for me from the Akashic Records, for love, for business, for her move? Your business is the first thing that I saw pop up, and that's really what they are bringing my awareness to for you. And um, the idea, let's see what a specific, definitely a business shift and an, an, an expansion coming in, Lisa, for you. Okay, essential oils are just blaring, blaring, blaring in my, uh, in my frequency. So I don't know if this idea of a shift is, is something where you're moving into uh, using essential oils or working with like Young Living or doTERRA or one of the other amazing distribution companies that bring us this amazing, this amazing thing, essential oils. Um, or if this is just the, the way that they're showing me that there is a new application of your spiritual knowledge that is going to come into play. Now, with essential oils, here's what they're bringing my awareness to in why they are so powerful. And again, this could be uh, right on the money. It could be exactly essential oils, or this could be symbolic or representative of whatever way, uh, Lisa, that you're going to be showing up in this new aspect of your business. But here's what essential oils do. Here's what smell does. Smell is one of the amazing spiritual technologies that we have, especially if you're using enlightened fragrances like frankincense, like lavender, like uh, like I can't thieves. Um, uh, there's millions of them, right? I can't even can't even think of all of the ones popping up. You you essential oil uh, smarty pants out there can type some in the comments, ones that are good for our awakening. But what happens when you breathe in essential oils? Um, Lisa says she's new to learning about the Akashic Records. Awesome. When you breathe in essential oils, what happens when you smell something is that instantly all of your awareness, even if it's for like a nano microsecond, is focused in a present moment awareness. Okay. So I don't know if, uh, like I said, if this is an exact uh, imagery coming up or if this is representative of this new aspect of how you're showing up in business is sharpening people, being able to bring their awareness and focus and sustain it in the present moment for longer periods of time. And you will exceed in doing this by being able to do that within, within yourself. 
by being able to extend those moments of present awareness in yourself. And actually, Lisa, as I'm continuing to talk this through, that's actually what you need for all of these different areas. When you said, hey, what do they want to tell me about my business or my love or uh, my move? That level of present state awareness and I love that I happen to see your question pop up to Lisa about wanting to know the Akashic Records. That is one of the key components to a direct access point to the Akashic Records. So for those of you guys who want to learn to tune in and receive that information, that high level information and insight and guidance in an instant, learn to focus however that is. If you use essential oils to do that, sound will do that too for us. Learn to focus your energy and sustain it in the present moment. And then you have to come with the frequency in a preparation. You, oh, I told you guys I had a matchstick set here. I get all excited about things. You guys are getting a little sneak peek of what my students get. This is, uh, this is insider information, by the way, of how you tune into the Akashic Records. Uh, to get the highest level of insight available is that you have to take full ownership and responsibility for uh, whatever it is that you're manifesting and creating, even if you don't damn like it, you got to own it. And you have to seek that insight from the perspective of what do I need to learn? How can I grow? How, what am I doing that's creating this? Or what can I do to more dynamically create an ease of this move or an ease in this relationship? You have to ask from that perspective. And like I said, this is... It really doesn't even bother me to share these little tips with you because it's only the tip of the iceberg of um, the learning and the expansion that's possible when you do dive in to an initiation process like the Akashic Records. And I will tell you guys, if you are interested in that process, class is so full right now that space is incredibly, incredibly limited and will likely be uh, a shifting the way that it works. Right now there's a beautiful mastermind program where you get to hang out with me every single Tuesday and not only learn the information from the Akashic Records and how to use them, but you basically get free Akashic Record readings and attunements from me as well. And because that space is so dynamic, it is growing and expanding to its capacity so if you're interested, you got to reach out to me uh, privately and um, we will talk about what that process looks like, the timing of how that looks right now. So anybody who uh, wants to learn to receive more dynamic information from their own Akashic Records, like Lisa, I'm going to be bringing in that energy right now. And I already gave you guys a couple of tips, a really, really important tips. Now, I take my students through a ceremonial process that was divinely given to me by my master's teachers, loved ones, and guides in the space of the records. There are many ways to enter the records. There are many teachers who can teach you how to create that energetic dynamic to receive that information, how to access it easily. The way that I teach my students was a divine download from the space of my Akashic records. And we actually moved through a, a much more um, dynamic and detailed process. However, key components that you need to know, one, being present in the present moment, figuring out how you can get your energy frequency attuned to present awareness and keep it there so that you can have this experience. And two, assuming and taking full responsibility for everything that it is that you're creating in your life. So if you were, and this is big too, by the way, because many of us still work in our patterns of blame, even when we begin to wake up. So if you are ready to receive this, if you're ready to take full command of your life and take full responsibility and open up your access points to your highest levels of wisdom, guidance, and healing possible, I just want you to to receive this within your heart space, to receive this energy. I'm going to play the triangle for us. Actually, they're calling me to play it up top, so I will. I'm just receiving that transmission. Tune your awareness to feel, to experience any aspects of movement in your energy field, in your body. Even if you just feel like very peaceful as you're receiving it, that's fine. That's good. That counts. Just notice it. Good. So be it inside. All righty. Roll into another question. Let's get the questions coming in. Hi, Christy.
Ooh, Catherine Fisher. Would love to know what her Akashic records say about home life and her daughter leaving for college. I love it. Okay. All right, my dear Catherine. This is this is this is a big this is a big this is big for you. I can feel it. Many of us, and this is the reason why that they brought my awareness to this is because many of us are moving, um, growing into situations that are really bringing up our uh, our need to let go and to trust and to believe in so dynamically those around us. And I know as parents because I am one that um, this level of letting go for your kids, although I'm not at the level of college yet. My oldest is in high school. My oldest is, is 15. Oh, but this idea of letting go and trusting that divine guidance follows every single person that we are connected to, that we love, this really allows us to ease up in some areas where we are hanging on to too much restriction, too much clenched energy for other people. So I always, uh, I always tell my kids, if you're worried about somebody, you're worrying for them, it's like sending energetic voodoo to them. So we really want to hold ourselves uh, really accountable. We want to keep that bar high in terms of keeping ourselves in check about Oh, poor so and so. If you hear yourself talking about anybody in your life, poor so and so. I gotta nip that. I want. I really want to inspire each and every single one of you, even if it feels unnatural, to when you notice yourself worried or sad or frustrated for somebody else. When you notice that empathetic nature stirring up in you. I want you to shift it and I want you to bless them and I want you to believe in them. When you worry about somebody else, truly, 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 it is a reflection of where you are still, uh, you still worry about yourself, you still don't believe in yourself, you still get all of these trigger points coming up in you. You can actually help other people tap more dynamically into their strength and into their courage and into their expansion by holding that space, knowing and believing that they're moving through exactly what they need to move through for their highest good. Um, now, one of the really cool applications of the Akashic Records is when we recognize, uh, for moms and for parents, when we recognize that our kids are moving through something, we only open up our Akashic Records. I only open up the records of people I have permission to open. But if you are a parent and your child is going through an experience or you're going through an experience together, or maybe as a family, we can ask how you can most dynamically show up and support what your child is going through. We can say, what is it that you need to understand about this? So while we only open the records of those who've given us permission, it is possible, and again, see that's an aspect of that ownership. How can I show up in the best way possible to help my daughter move through this transition, to help my husband, to help my children move through this transition? And uh, that is another just really, really beautiful way that the Akashic Records can be used. Um, what I want to focus on for this transmission, though, is giving ourselves the permission to allow others to experience whatever is meaningful for them and to trust that they are walking the path that they're meant to walk, that they are learning the lessons that they need to learn, and that they have the skills and abilities to show up in their life. When you do this, you're creating that space for yourself, too. So how many of us don't want more uh, uh, just that, that, that ease of being able to know that when we're going through something, even if it's stretching and growing us, some things are exciting, some things are difficult, some things are a mixture of both. But how perfect to give ourselves that permission, that freedom as well, to go through and experience those things which are dynamic and meaningful to our soul. Um, to our own growth. Okay, so here we go. Bringing in this transmission. All you have to do is open your heart to receive it. Say yes if you want to receive it. Oh, that was a little harsh. Sorry about that. That's really knocking out all those old energies of us. 
feeling like we have to worry about people in our lives. Nice deep breath in. I just caught myself holding my breath there. Breathe it, breathe it, breathe it. All right, good job. So be it and so it is. Let's go one more here today. We might even have time today for the Akashic Top 3. When I was planning and creating the show, that's something that I wanted to do for you guys, but damn if this 30 minutes doesn't fly by very fast. All right. Questions, 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 questions. Guys, just so you know, I like very, very specific questions. Um, and I see that a lot of the, there are a couple of them coming in saying, any messages for me, any messages for me. We can go in and get messages for you like that. The records works the best when you ask questions because why? Because that shows a level of ownership and desire to understand and expand in a particular area. It just makes us more specific. Okay? Um, Angie, we're talking a lot about career day. Angie, your career seems to be opening up um, to a shift in an unexpected way. And you'd like to know more what your Akashic Records have to say about that. And then your hashtag spiritual architect which I really love that terminology. Um, yeah, I do definitely feel new opportunities coming in for you. And I feel like the opportunities are, um, all of the opportunities that are opening up are all the different intentions that you've set along the way that just happen to be kind of like lots of different aspects opening up dynamically at the same time. And this is, first and foremost, they want you to really acknowledge how you have grown to open yourself to unexpected opportunity, unexpected uh, uh, just direction and growth and expansion. And here's what's coming in super powerfully about timeline shifts for us, okay? A timeline shift, let me just break that down for you. That's, that's basically when you're living life in one lane and all of a sudden you make a nice big shift and you jump up into a different lane and things look better from this lane, all right? They're moving at a higher pace. You jump into the fast lane. Sometimes it means a drastic deconstruction and reconstruction of our physical life, meaning like a move or a big job shift. And sometimes it means a, a microcosmic or a perspective, an emotional or a mental drastic shift. The, uh, the emotional and the mental shift precede the physical timeline shift. For me, I had a massive timeline shift when the moment I decided to sign up to a classic records class. Now, that was a mental and emotional shift that I had made. The physicality of it played out over the next uh, six to eight months after I went through that process. So that was a big timeline shift for me. When you are jumping timelines like that, here is the key that we have to remember. So anchoring in that higher timeline requires us to let go of the fact that that's going to be the only timeline shift that we have. Things are constantly shifting, evolving, and changing. And if you put too much emphasis, energy, desire, uh, uh, energy into, okay, this is it. What you do is you lock yourself in a timeline frequency, which is what made it harder for you to jump out of this timeline frequency shift down here. So really getting outside of time and opening ourselves to this idea that things are always constantly shifting, expanding, and growing that will really fully allow us to anchor in a new timeline. So that's, it, it's a little paradoxical to think, okay, I gotta get outside of time to get into a higher timeline. But the way you get outside of time is by recognizing, first of all, it's not running linearly, it's running in a spirally cyclical loop fashion, everything happening all at once. But the nature of time and how it works, and when we observe that, we get very good at moving through those systems that allow us to move through time in a different way. That will allow you to anchor in this new timeline for you. Um, again, they just want you to really honor yourself. They want you to almost, they're bringing, for your own growth and advancement, they want you to 
take yourself back to the moment when you planted this seed that is now opening in this unexpected opportunity for you. Um, because they want you to be able to do it again. This is like a pattern. And you're going to know when the time comes along and you're like, all right, time to open, grow, shift in a way, and you might not exactly know what it looks like. You're going to plant that opportunity seed of unexpected opportunity, and you're going to be able to use this process that you've been through to continue to duplicate this. And who doesn't want to uh, duplicate expanded opportunity in their life? All right, so for everybody out there who wants to receive this transmission, I want you, and this is really important, they're gonna, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work here, but I'm gonna hold the space that the exact information come into your awareness that you need. I want you to allow yourself to, and this is for everybody out there, allow yourself to remember a time when you planted a seed and that manifested in an unexpected opportunity for you. Remember a time when you did that, okay? I've been doing that all day. I've been shaking my little tassels on the side of my shirt here. Okay, so first holding the space for everybody to uh, allow and a memory to be called up to come into your awareness. And now I'm going to ring the triangle and allow that sound to magnify the frequency of integrating that ability. This is an, an ability that all of us have to plant seeds and to allow the manifestation in beautiful waves in our life. Receive that, say yes. Get very soft, receive this into, receive this one into your third eye, please. They're bringing my awareness. Beautiful. One nice deep breath, integrating, integrating all of these transmissions that we brought in, all of these upgrades today. Ooh, beautiful. All right, we actually, I think we might even have time for the Akashic Top 3. Let me get in just a few plugs quickly for you guys. This Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, Coach Nick and I are bringing you a free and awesome training, how to create your very first online course. We're bringing you the five steps that you need to do that. These are my personal steps that I use to create freaking awesome courses that change people's lives. And I want to share that information with you. Um, we're in a dynamic time of expansion and knowledge. And bigger than just you expanding your business, you are participating in a shift of consciousness in a very, very dynamic way. I'm going to explain to you guys what that shift is all about and how you can show up to participate in it more. So make sure you sign up for Five Steps to Create, your first online course. Stay tuned after this. Robin McClendon is coming up with Conversations with Gaia, and then she's coming up again. And then even more shows are coming up after that. We've got Sifu Paul Bogey Brighton coming to you today as well as Jack Coleman for Life Hackers. So stay tuned. Here we go for the Akashic Top 3. I am going to bring in three areas where the Akashic Records are going to hold us all accountable for this next week. Pay attention to these um, patterns showing up in your life as I bring them in right now because these are areas where you can hold your hold space for growth and you can get some big stuff happening and moving in your life, okay? Okay, the first message coming in, and this is uh, very congruent to what I've been teaching inside of the academy right now. This is, uh, I, one of my guys up there is like a ball busting Dr. Phil, coming in saying, and just flat out, if your life isn't easy, you're doing something wrong. Now, uh, eh. I feel like they're using loose language there because truthfully, I don't think that we're ever doing anything wrong, but I think that we can move into higher vibrational frequencies that are easier. And I feel like that is our right to do. And if you are experiencing challenge or difficulty in your life, on some level you're choosing it and you don't have to. So 
if you are feel like you're in that level of struggle and you're ready for somebody just to kick your ass so that you can get it together and get out, let me know. Reach out to me. We uh, these these are things that we can work on if you're ready to dive in and go full boot camp style on yourself with your with your own spirituality and your growth. Okay, so that's number one. Their word is not mine. If your life ain't easy, you're doing something wrong. Okay. A lot of you guys are still uh, watching news. You're getting bombarded by negativity that's coming into your awareness. I just looked up. It's 1230, so it's going to be the Akashic Top 2 because I've got to get off here so my girl Robin can go. This week, I want you to be aware of all the places that you are still absorbing negativity that are not serving you through TV, through media, through your your friends who still bitch and moan about the bad shit going on in their life, okay? Just have awareness of that. See how much is actually coming into your energy field. And it's going to help you realize uh, that a lot of times your mood and your energy is affected by what you're taking in around you, and it doesn't represent the true nature of who you are. Namaste, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, keep hanging out here because Robin is awesome.